Welcome to the Mott and Crit Show. I'm your host Thomas Galmeyer. This week, as wildfires are burning across California and polar bears are starving because of melting ice coverage, our mentally unhinged and illegitimate President Trump has continued his assault on our environment. With the stroke of a pen, he undid protections for 85% of national monuments in Utah opening up national parks and lands to fracking and oil drilling companies. These days we have old, vile, hateful white men making decisions that will affect our future and we'll have to change that. I urge everyone, especially the younger generation, to get involved in the field of alternative energy, environmental protection, and the preservation of nature and animals. That really is our future. And without that, we will have more fires, we will have earthquakes in places that we've never had earthquakes be before because of fracking, and we will have more environmental disasters. We will lose entire species of animals because we're destroying the natural habitats, and that is a worldwide tragedy. In closing, um, I would like to give a massive shout out and thank you to all the firefighters here in California working so hard, risking their lives. We cannot be grateful enough. And also all the volunteers at the shelters, at the animal rescues, thank you so much. If you have the time, volunteer. If you have the money, donate. And don't complain about taxes because taxes allow us to have great first responders and they deserve a decent, a more than decent salary. One of the songs we released this year was Make It Lost. I wrote the song with two of my good friends, Kelly Kidd and Justin Carter, who is also the feature vocalist on this tune, and then had the idea to get a remix done by my friend Stonebridge because the song has sort of an R&B-ish feel to it and Stonebridge is just the perfect guy to deliver this kind of uh, remix. He got together with his son Damien Hall and they delivered a fantastic remix for the song. I wanted to do a video, I contacted my friend Deirdre Barnes who's been dancing with Justin Bieber and Empire of the Sun, Britney Spears, you name it. She's a dancer, choreographer. She agreed to do it and to choreograph it. I also got my friend Don Sabin, who is a fantastic photographer and cinematographer on board. He shot the footage, so we all got together. My idea was to shoot it just in silhouette. Um, then I saw some of the test footage and it just let some light outline actually the you know the three-dimensional look and sort of black and white and i really like that look and that's what we ended up going for and justin came in and performed the lead vocals and then performed together we just had a lot of fun shooting this video i love the way it turned out thank you so much deirdre don Saban. Um, Red Carter, of course, and Stonebridge, and Damien Hall for a for an awesome remix. So enjoy, make it last. Welcome back. Here's a quick 
quick follow-up on something I spoke of a couple of weeks ago, net neutrality. On December 14th, the FCC and Trump are planning to eliminate equal access to the internet. Please make your voices heard, express your resistance, and follow these easy instructions provided by John Oliver. It takes less than 30 seconds. I will post them right here. started with Sebastian Davidson's Should Love You. I've always loved Shimas Haji's remix of Conchita Wurst's Firestorm and John split off his next with Show Me. Danny Espinal brings us back to life before we start going down slow with x -Mac. Our song Make It Last, the Stonebridge and Damien Hall remix was a perfect fit to lead us into Math Boothroyd's and Deep Matters. So damn beautiful. Meet in the Middle has been climbing up the Billboard charts, so here's Stonebridge with his new song. And Trilucid gives us Lumen before we close the set with Confessionals and Love is King. Turn up the volume, go to mixcloud.club. So thanks for joining us again for another Martin Crit Weekly Top 10. Turn up the volume, go to mixcloud.com, leave us a comment, let us know what your favorite song was. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of Martin Crit's Weekly Top 10. Yeah.